What's up guys? Welcome to this video to derive SUVAT, the five equations of motion for constant acceleration. Constant acceleration could be when acceleration is zero, uh, it could be when acceleration is 500, as long as it doesn't change. Um, we've got the SUVAT equations because we've got displacement, initial velocity u, final velocity v, acceleration and time, and a bit of excitement, because that's what we need to derive it. Um, this guide uses simple differentiation and integration. If you don't know how to do that, I would highly suggest going and learning how, because it will help a lot. Okay, let's get started. First, we need to draw our STD triangle. It's STD, like that. Here, we can see that the distance is equal to the speed times the time. I just changed the time into lowercase. Uh, as these are what they're called, they're called scalars. I need to change them into vectors because we're working with directions as well. So I'm going to change the distance into displacement s and speed into velocity v. And t stays the same. Okay. Now, if we differentiate both sides with respect to t, we get ds over dt is equal to v. Nice and easy. Now, if we differentiate both sides, both sides with respect to t again, we get d 2s over dt squared is equal to dv over dt. Now, the rate of change of velocity is also known as the acceleration. And this is the part that we'll focus on first. Now, rearranging this part, we'll get dv is equal to a dt. Yep. And then we just integrate both sides. a doesn't affect t t doesn't affect a, so a can be pulled outside the integration. Solving this, we get v is equal to a t plus c, the constant of integration, because we don't have any limits. Now, I can rewrite this as v t in brackets is equal to a t plus c. This t in brackets means that the velocity is dependent on the time. So if we have a time zero for initial condition, for initial condition, v of zero, we get the at goes to zero plus c. Now the initial condition v of zero can be denoted as v naught, little naught. The initial velocity is equal to z uh, c. Sorry, v naught, the initial velocity, is then is then rewritten as u equals c. Putting this back in this equation up here. This will give us v equals a t a plus c, oh, there, plus u, sorry. And if I rearrange that again, we get v equals u plus a t, the first equation of motion for constant acceleration. Okie dokie. The second equation. We're going to use this part here ds is equal, oh, ds over dt is equal to v. Yep. So then what do we do? We rearrange it. ds is equal to v dt. What do we do now? we got a v, and we have an equation for v. Let's substitute it in. ds is equal to u plus at dt. Can you guess what we do next? Integrate it. How exciting! <laughs> so, s, this goes to s, is equal to ut plus add 1 to the power divided by the new power, at squared plus c, our constant of integration. Now, displacement in this case also depends on time. So, the initial condition, the initial displacement, is going to equal 0, because time zero. Time is 0, plus 0 plus c. So s naught equals c. So putting it back into the equation above, we get s equals ut plus a half a t squared plus s naught. Now, the questions are usually redefined to find the change in displacement, delta s. Therefore, this leads the initial displacement to not exist. This means the equation 
is then left at s equals ut plus a half a t squared. Nice and simple. That is our second equation. So if I just quickly rewrite what we have, we have v equals u plus a t and s equals u t plus a half a t squared. Now for the next three, all you need to do is rearrange this first equation for the different variables and substitute into this one. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So first let's do it for u. u is equal to v minus a t. So if I substitute in here, we get s is equal to v minus a t, t plus a half a t squared. This is equal to s equals vt, if we expand the brackets, minus a t squared plus a half a t squared. Half a t squared minus a t squared, s equals vt minus a half a t squared. The third equation of motion for constant acceleration. Cool. Let's go on to the fourth. We're going to do it for acceleration. So we need v minus u over t equals a. Ah. Now substitute into here. s equals ut plus a half v minus u over t t squared. This t here cancels out with one of the t's in the t squared. So if we expand the bracket, plus a half v t minus a half u t. We've got u t minus a half u t. Let me guess what's coming. S equals a half v t. plus a half ut, sorry, uh, and this goes to s equals a half v plus ut. Let's just take a second to look at that if you don't know where it comes from. All I've done is put the v and u in a bracket because the times by the same thing. And there's our fourth equation. Now for the final one, it's like the big brother, kind of the pain in the back side, but it's not hard. It's still the same. You just rearrange the joy. V minus U over A equals T. So we substitute in here. We get S equals U, uh, not U T, U V minus U over A plus a half A V minus U over A squared. Expand the brackets here. U v over a minus u squared over a. I times out this bracket here, plus half a v squared plus u squared minus 2uv over a squared. One of these a squareds, cancel out with this a. Awesome. That's what we like, cancelling out. Just rewrite this part again and expand this part. Wow, such excitement. Half v squared, don't know why I wrote it like that. Plus u squared over, don't forget the a, u squared over 2a minus 2uv over 2a. These cancels out with each other. Just imagine that v squared, where that one is. And then you've got uv over a minus uv over a. Goodbye. So then we're left with s is equal to u squared over 2a plus v squared over 2a minus u squared over a. Simply but times both sides by 2a. Yep. Simple enough. 2as is equal to u squared plus v squared minus 2u squared u squared minus 2u squared, 2as <laughs> is equal to v squared minus u squared. Rearrange to get v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. There you have it. Done and dusted your fifth equation of motion for constant acceleration. And just to summarise them all for you, nice and simple here. I hope you can do it now. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and I hoped it helped. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.